Uh, so it's been about two weeks since my last video. Uh, I've got a number of changes here, including that I repotted my shiso plant into something a little bit bigger. Uh, oh, just noticed that we happen to be running this video when the watering system is running, so you can see a little bit of dripping. It is working. Uh, another note is that my bucket uh, finally ran out of water after about a month of watering. So I think a month is uh, more than I could ever plan to be away at this point. So I'm thinking about expanding the garden and adding uh, a few more uh, spots to water. It's good to know that I can get a couple weeks worth of watering out of this. So I've added more water. It's about half full now. And uh, you can see this pot was uh, essentially empty uh, two weeks ago. You can see uh, hmm, there are onion seeds in there, but I can't say for certain that they're growing but it's uh, just been a couple couple weeks now for that I uh, see I'm growing a bunch of stuff in the back I don't even know what those things are but you can see that some of the onions are coming up the seeds are coming up uh, one interesting thing you can see here right there behind there the uh, that's the, the onion seed is at the tip of the new onion plant so you can see a bunch of the new ones are coming up so thanks to my uncle for giving me all these onion seeds that he uh, grew from his own plants, so that's kind of exciting. And you can see that I've grown quite a bit of green onions, although they're not quite as hardy as I'd like for them to be, but maybe my expectations are just too high. So um, we're going to take a look in here. Like we said last time, we had uh, threw a bunch of leaves in here to uh, try to dry this out. And I've checked on it a few times periodically, but uh, here we're going to take a look and see we've been feeding it. Uh, probably overfeeding as uh, I am wont to do and uh, we're gonna take a look and see what it looks like inside So oh, we got some weird things growing on you know what those are That's pretty nasty. It's a lot of banana peels. My son eats a lot of bananas uh, You can still see a lot of fruit flies, but you can see that we do have some worms in there And I believe this bin's pretty heavy, so we're gonna leave that in there cover this up again now these bins are, are packed a little bit less. So they should be more interesting. That's pretty nasty. But pull that out. There we go. We're getting some worms. Let me get my trowel. Maybe we can see what's going on inside there. It's pretty wet still. Much drier than before. Um, I was gifted some peat moss by my uncle. And I haven't tried it yet, but I think we're close to trying. Look, you can still see there are a couple, uh, you can see some eggs in there. Uh, that is, uh, worm eggs. You can see some of the stuff is getting moldy. But it does appear that, yeah, like you see the worms. Well, there's another egg there, so they are multiplying. The worms are proliferating. Let's see what's underneath here. Take another, another one off. There we go, we got a bunch more worms here. Um, the goal is to get even more. It is kind of like paper. All those leaves have kind of compacted down to be like paper almost. But uh, the worms seem to be doing good work. You can see a lot of castings on the side there. We'll keep digging down and see what we got under here. There's another bin here. And this one is more leafy. Still see some worms and some eggs. Got another layer. And we'll dig down to the bottom here. Oh, this one's pretty heavy here. So we can... and that's what the bottom looks like. So there's still a lot of moisture at the bottom, a lot of worms down there. But uh, I'd say overall this is reasonably successful. Although I probably uh, maybe we'll add some peat moss that I got last week. And uh, maybe it's time to give that a shot and see if I can pull out even more water because apparently these worms like it when it's even drier. So uh, we'll see how that goes. Uh, there's another thing to notice here, which is in my shiso plant, I have changed the strategy for the uh, eggshells and uh, I've scattered them around the base of the plant to try to keep the slugs away. And uh, the leaves here don't seem to be terribly eaten. Although I'm not getting a whole lot of leaf yield these days, but uh, which was the reason that I repotted it into a uh, slightly larger pot. But I do believe the slugs are being kept away, so we'll call it a uh, small success. And then we've got my 
oldest worm bin here, which I dumped a bunch of leaves in here because it was too wet. You'll remember from two weeks ago, it was really wet. So about a week ago, I dumped a bunch of leaves and other stuff I got and uh, tried to dry it out a little bit. You can see there's still a lot of water there on the bottom, but I would say that this appears to me to be still a pretty thriving system. Um, there's a lot of worms in there, that's excellent. Um, the leaves are soaking up some of the moisture. And last week when I checked, there were a ton of pretty big maggots. So you can see the maggots in there are pretty big, much bigger than they were two weeks ago. So they're really processing what's in there. But uh, let me see if it stinks. It has a mild stink to it, but it's uh, it's pretty mild smell. So I think we're doing okay in here. Maybe I'll add a couple more leaves today, see how that goes. Oh, maybe this is a good candidate for the peat moss.